If you are interested in glowing up, this video is for you. If you see my cat in the back, just ignore that. That's him and he just does his thing. This is going to be my first video ever on my new series called Level Up Lazies. This series is going to be all about how to glow up, how to level up in your life. In this video, I want to kind of start off by analyzing what a glow up is the mainstream version, the reality of it, and I want to deep dive into that and pick that apart so we can take things that we need to level up. So this series isn't just going to be on how to do your hair, how to look cute, how to do your makeup. It's not going to be just that. That is the mainstream version of glowing up. This is going to be about that too, but it's also going to be about more than that. Glowing up mentally, emotionally, becoming the woman that you've always wanted to become. How to become more self-disciplined, how to have more self-control, how to raise your standards, how to basically become the woman that you would want to date. That is what the series is going to be about. I think it's so easy to think that leveling up is just physical because that's what we see basically on the internet. When we see glow up videos, you see girls like doing one hour transformations. They look bummy in the first picture. The next picture they look flawless. They look like baddies, which is good. Like me personally, I feel like it's super important for women to look good for themselves. If you want to look good for yourself, I feel like it's important too because that does help with confidence. It makes you feel more beautiful. Whether you want to get plastic surgery, whether you want to learn how to do makeup for your features, I feel like that's a great thing, but that's not the whole package. It helps because it helps your confidence, but it's not everything that you want to focus on when you want to level up your life. There's this trend going on right now on TikTok called Becoming That Girl, and I think that trend is super cute. I love seeing women incorporating healthy habits in their lives. They're waking up early. They're doing their hair. They're going to the gym. Like That is an amazing thing. And that's basically what I'm referring to in this video of being that girl, becoming the woman of your dreams. So what exactly is a glow up? I went on Urban Dictionary and I got the definition of this and we're going to piece together what this means and pick it apart. So it says a glow up is a mental, physical, and an emotional transformation for the better. Glow ups can be both natural and planned as well as being gradual and permanent or fast and temporary. Example, she has had a glow up since the last time I saw her. So when it says a glow up can be natural is completely true. You see this when people age. They grow up, it's kind of like people will call an ugly duckling phase when you're younger and you look kind of awkward in your preteens prior and you grow up and you blossom into a beautiful woman and you blossom into yourself, the woman you always wanted to look like or it can be planned where you strategically say, okay, well, I want to start doing my hair like this, I want to start doing my makeup like this because it enhances my features and it makes me feel more beautiful. It also says it can be gradual and permanent or fast and temporary. Now the fast and temporary globes are the ones that you see basically on YouTube and TikTok where you see these girls have like a bummy look and then they don't have their makeup on and then they're in their bed and the next picture they're in a dress, their makeup is slayed, their hair is beautiful and that is basically the fast and temporary glow up. This video we are talking about both combined because I don't feel like it's a bad thing to have a temporary glow up and I feel like we can combine both of them and take pointers from both of them to become somebody that we want to become. Even though it is super easy to go viral from just glowing up within an hour and it's easy to go viral when you do those before and after pictures, but realistically you want something more long term. You want something that will make you a better person internally. <laughs> I think that there can definitely be some negative connotations when it comes to glowing up. So right now we're going to talk about the cons of glowing up. What are the downsides and the bad sides of doing this? One of the things that could happen is you could lose friends and family members along the way. I think that this is because people can become jealous of you or they can resent you for not being the person that they remember. Because a lot of times it's kind of called outgrowing your environment. And a lot of the times when you're back home in your hometown and you're with your family all the time, you're with friends you grew up with, they kind of attach you to the person you used to be, not the person you are now. And a lot of times they can resent you for that or they can see you doing big things that you've always wanted to do in your life, that you've always said you want to do in your life and they see that you've actually done it and they also resent that. Like they wish that they would have done that. I feel like that is one of the cons of glowing up is sometimes you're gonna lose people you really care about, their true colors are gonna come out, 
their negative sides are going to come out and they're going to take things out on you and that can be very heartbreaking to lose people that you've known your whole entire life to lose people because they can't just accept the new you and I think that if you truly want to level up you kind of have to realize that not everybody's going to be on this journey with you all the way some people aren't going to understand it they're going to think that you're asking for too much they're going to think that you're raising your standards too high they're just not going to understand you anymore and that's okay sometimes when you have friends they're on different levels in your life you don't need that friend to be the type of person you talk to every day they can be a friend that you call when you want to catch up every few months they can be the type of friend that you just message every few months and say hey how are you doing and you keep it very light not everybody has to be this super close really good friend in your life everybody should have places that they fit in and that is just called a boundary you need boundaries with friends you need boundaries with family just because if you want to change your life for the better a lot of the things that you're doing they're not going to understand at first and they probably won't even like it at first people can start to hold you to a extremely ridiculous standard and you can do that to yourself as well basically what i mean by that is people are gonna see like your pictures on instagram they're gonna see the best versions that you portray of yourself online and they're gonna always expect you to be that way they're gonna be like wow like why is your hair like that today like on instagram it's always good or why do you look so like down and why are you so low energy right now like it seems like you have your life all together you should be thankful for where you're at they will say things like that to you and you can actually feel like that yourself like oh my gosh, why am I not super high energy? Why am I not pushing myself to be the best and to do the best in the situation? I should be better than that. And it's super important to understand that you're gonna have your off days. Sometimes you're not gonna feel like doing your hair. You're not gonna feel like being put together. You're not even gonna feel like being productive all day because you're tired. You need a rest day. We're not robots. We're not meant to work 24 seven. Let yourself rest. You'll run into inauthentic people who basically just want to use you because of your energy. These are called energy vampires and basically what happens is you call somebody, you're on the phone with a friend, you meet a friend in real life. When you talk to them, they suck out all of your energy because they tell you all their problems, you're giving them advice, you're telling them what to do, you're telling them your experience of it and afterwards they just soak in all of your energy during the conversation and afterwards they feel high energy and you feel low energy. That is an energy vampire. So, And it's really important to know when this happens. This has definitely happened to me before. Me and the girl aren't friends anymore just because like it was just so draining and I could not do it. So if you are ready to level up and live the best life that you want to live, you cannot be around these types of people who literally drain you, who ask you for advice. You give them everything you can to help them and they don't take it. They do the same thing over and over again expecting a different result yet they come to you for help like you don't want those types of people in your life because you don't want to be that type of person birds of a feather do in fact flock together and you want to keep women around you that you basically just want to be like you want to admire your friends you want to look at characteristics that they have and wish that you could also have that too you can definitely easily outgrow your environment whenever you are glowing up you can feel like okay now that i feel like this mentally now that i have rewired my brain and i am being more productive i am developing more self-discipline I'm becoming the person that I've always wanted to become. The people that you're around aren't on your same wavelength anymore. You think that they're like more immature. You feel like you can't connect with them anymore. You just feel like they're kind of stuck where they're at and you are kind of progressing and you just don't feel like you can relate to where they're at anymore and that's okay. It's a really, really shitty feeling when that happens because you never want to feel like you're outgrowing the people that you love but like I said there are people that fit in certain parts of your lives this doesn't mean to cut people off don't cut people off just because you guys just aren't clicking in that way anymore just keep them in a different category of what type of friend they are <laughs> Now, what are the pros of glowing up? The pros are definitely that you will become more confident and self-aware. You will be more in tune with what you deserve, what you'll put up with, who you are, and more secure in yourself overall. When you start leveling up for yourself, you just become 
like your own best friend. You know, okay, well, I know that I cannot start working in the afternoon. I have to start working in the morning. Or I know that I can't start a new workout routine today because I am not going to go through with it, so I need to start in a few days. Basically, that is what being more self-aware is, is that you're honest with yourself with what your habits are, what your characteristics and traits are, and you move accordingly. It also becomes easier for you to manifest your reality. When you start working really hard every single day to work towards the person that you want to become, you're basically meeting the universe halfway. So what's happening when you're manifesting is you're doing 50% of the work and the universe is doing the next 50%. And it's easier to manifest things when you already feel like you're getting a lot of the things that you wanna get and you already are in a good, positive, high energy. It makes things really easy to manifest in your life. There's so many women now that you can look up to and say, okay, I want the type of life that they've had. There are girls with stories on YouTube with how they started making money for themselves, how they hustled, how they got every single thing that they've ever wanted and I feel like that's really inspiring and I prompt you to go look at those videos, to look at girls that are doing things similar to what you want to do. If you want to be a lawyer, look up videos about successful female lawyers. If you want to do anything like that, just look up and find somebody because you can find at least one person who's doing what you want to do and read their story, follow them, support them. It just really helps whenever you're looking at and getting notes from people that you wish you were like because you cannot get advice from people that you don't want to be like. You have to get advice from people that you wish you were like and that you will be similar to. This is just because it can be really, really lonely when you feel like you don't know anybody that you could talk to that has the same goals as you. You just don't know anybody that you could kind of look up to in your immediate circle. And that's why I feel like the internet is a great thing because this is where you can find people that can inspire you. The next thing is that you learn to work for the things that you want. Now, this is for my girls who are dreamers. If you're a dreamer and if you are in your head all day, I just really want to let you know that that is not the way that you are going to do anything. One day I'm going to do this. No, 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 no. There is no one day. You need to start today. If there's a little thing that you can do today that will bring you closer to your dreams, do it. Even if that's planning something. For example, if you're like, okay, I want to move to New York eventually and I want to be a fashion designer. Okay, make a plan. Get your journal out and write down all the things that you can do right now to save money. How can you work on your fashion line right now? What can you do to market yourself better? What kind of networks can you make right now? There are things that you can do right now to bring you closer to that reality. You literally have to work towards what you want to get the goal that you want. And that's something that a lot of these girls have that girls need to start writing down. These girls who've leveled up did not just sit on their butt all day and say, oh, one day I'll do that and like, I don't know what day, but I know it's gonna happen. No, 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 no. They got up and they did everything they could to get it and they got it. So you need to learn how to work for what you want because nobody else is gonna do this for you. Next is your standards are finally high and in the right place. You need high standards because this forces everything in your life to place perfectly for you. You wanna feel respected, you wanna feel loved, and a high standard to you can be literally just a normal standard for somebody else. And I feel like that's such a great thing because when you have low standards, it's kind of equivalent to just having low self-esteem. You don't feel like you deserve to be treated that way, whether that's dating, whether that's in your work environment. You basically just feel like, oh, I don't deserve that. Why should I get that? Basically kind of like imposter syndrome. But you do deserve that and that's what leveling up is. You're finally figuring out what you deserve and how you're gonna get it. I would definitely say that my experience growing up was very natural and slow. When I was younger, I always knew that I wanted to be in front of a camera and I was so, so embarrassed by it. When I was in high school, I went to start a YouTube channel and I ended up starting one. And I took my first video I ever made down because one of my friends was making fun of me for it. So I took that video down and after I took it down, threw YouTube away, I was like, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm too embarrassed. I'm too ashamed. 
Then I got into college and my third year being in college, I started my YouTube channel up again and now it's here. Like, I'm so grateful for having this and I had to grow confident enough to sit in front of a camera and to talk to myself and to edit my videos and to put it up for everybody to see. Because at first I was literally hiding my videos from everybody. I didn't want anybody to see. I was so ashamed for it. And I just want to let you know that you should never be ashamed of something that you love. Just because other people don't understand it, other people don't get it, and you seem kind of nervous at first, you don't know what you're doing, that's okay. You have to do things that make you feel uncomfortable for you to grow to the point that you want to be. And this goes for anything. This is not just for a creative job. This is for anything you ever want to do in life. And I hope that inspires you if you ever want to start something for yourself, if you want to start that business, if you want to apply for that job, if you want to do anything like that, just do it. Nobody else should make you feel ashamed for wanting that. And in this series, that is what I'm going to discuss even further. I'm going to teach you how to become more confident, how to become more disciplined, and how you can also look good physically too. How you can look for the best aesthetic for you, what kind of aesthetic fits you perfectly, everything like that, just so you can become the best version that you want to become. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!